Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's special video is on the Garmin DriveSmart 51 test drive, pros and cons. So I'm not paid by the Garmin for this, so I'm just going to give you what I see and what I think about this. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do a demonstration on the Garmin 51 GPS. So I have the GPS, I plugged it in and also I have the connector set up. So I'm going to latch it to the, the windshield. In California, I have to put on the left side, which I'm going to do that. As well, I'm going to run the, the power cable to the power outlet. So you have to face it like this, the wider side on the bottom of the pin set, and you plug it in. Then you plug it to the outlet. So let me put on the, the windshield first. Suction pump. And I plug into the outlet. Okay, you plug the other end to the outlet of the vehicle. In this case, it's over here. And there's a red LED that will light up once you turn the ignition. So you know there's power going to the unit. On the first test, we're going to do a local test drive. Okay, plugged it into the power outlet. We go to gas station. It's an easy one. Okay, so let's get started. Turn right on Doherty Road, then take the first right. Notice that the unit actually has some glare. I think that would be a con of this unit. Um, the size is okay, tells you the speed and everything like that, um, where you're traveling at, how far to reach the destination, the address, how far is it away, what street you're on, etc. So the maps are very clear, uh, except that the glare, you know, the, the reflection, you see that in the video. Notice that if you go a little bit above the speed limit, it will warn you, or the speed limit changes, it will alert you as well. Um, so you can see that uh, alerts on the upper right side over there. Arriving at Chevron on the right. Okay, well, we're going to do a freeway test as well, and you can see different results. Okay, so we're going to select another local area, maybe say uh, Costco or something. Uh, it's just easy to use on this thing as well. Always hit search. Uh, you enter the address in or enter the name of the destination in. In this case, we chose Costco.
right over here, I think it would be best to tell me to turn right, even though the map is showing to turn right. Turn right at the traffic light. About right over here, you can see the map pop up about the different lanes on the freeway, which is kind of neat. And that's a very good thing to have. You can see that over here in the video. Take exit 44B on the right to I 680 North, then keep right. One thing I gotta say is the audio is very clear on this GPS. That's a plus. And the size of the GPS is just perfect. Too big? Nope. Too small? Nope. Just take right. Exit 36 on the right to Crow Canyon Road. Then take the first right. traffic light.
Okay, folks, there you have it. So we've got the pros and cons, and uh, the biggest thing is the glare. Everything works really well. I didn't get to try all the features, though. But I would say this is a buy, and it's a great product to own. Thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.